Abbeth. I'm an artist living in Portland, Maine. You can check out my work at abbeth.com. I'm going to show you how to draw a house in ink pen. So drawing a house is really just a matter of putting together a bunch of simple shapes and patterns, just like any drawing really, but with a house it's really, um, since it's architectural, it's really just a series of shapes. And so you're going to start out by drawing either a rectangle or a square on the page. As always, it doesn't have to be perfect. <clears throat> and then within that, you can add another rectangle coming up from the bottom for a door. And then a series of squares for the windows. And as you're drawing it, try to think about just how a house is built and how everything is kind of usually lined up pretty accurately. And you can make this house into any type of house you want it to be. It could be one story, two stories, it could be ten stories, whatever you want it to be. Then within those squares, you're going to put four squares in each of them to create a window effect. And once again, this is open for experimentation. You could put you could put a bunch of squares into each window. <clears throat> you could have the windows be rectangular. You could even have the windows be circular. All right, now you want to add a little something to the door to make it a bit more exciting. I'm just going to simply add a little circle for a doorknob. And of course you want to give the house a roof. It can be a symmetrical roof or it can be like a salt box house with a roof kind of off to the side. It could even be a dome shaped roof. This is your house to do whatever you want with. Then I'm going to start drawing lines coming straight across the front of the house. And you're going to draw up to the window, stop, and then start the line again on the other side of the window. And do this to each of the windows so that it appears that there's wood siding on the house that neatly fits around all the windows. And you're going to try to keep these lines pretty much the same distance apart. A little variation is okay, because in real life there's all sorts of variation in architecture. <clears throat> and you're gonna do this all the way down the front of the house. All right, once you've done that, you can add some little horizontal or little vertical lines um, kind of in random places within those horizontal lines just to make it appear that there are boards. And um, you can even make a whole bunch of vertical lines evenly spaced out along those horizontal ones and that would make it seem like there were bricks but I'm going to keep it that um, the house th that this house I'm drawing is made out of wood. All right now the last step is to add the shingles on the roof and I'm going to make some kind of rounded shingles but you can make the shingles triangular or you can make them square but I'm just going to do a repetitive pattern of rounded W's that just kind of connect to each other and they um, just kind of they go from left to right just like you're drawing like ripples in water or a bunch of connected W's. All 
And you're going to do this until you have completely filled in the roof area of the house. My name is Abbott and I just showed you how to draw a house in ink pen.